What's good, what's good? It's the one that only, but what do I know? Boxer coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Keith Thurman speaking on his fight against Tim Zhu, man. <laughs> Keith Thurman is funny, man. But he, uh, I was watching the interview. Shout out to Ness. They, they, you know, I think Ness is out of is is. is well, I think he, I thought he stayed in Vegas, but I don't know. Anyways, um, uh, uh he was speaking on his fight, upcoming fight against Tim Zhu, but he also spoke on Errol, Errol Spence. And there's a few things I wanted to touch on uh, that Keith Thurman stated in this interview. All right, but first, let me let me show you guys what uh, Keith Thurman had to say. <laughs> about Tim Zoo. I thought this was so funny. Here it is. Head, but you know, the, the lyrics weren't proper, so I had to change the lyrics a little bit, but the beat just felt right, you know? And I just thought to myself, this fight's real simple, you know? All I'm gonna do is a little zoom, 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 and a boom, boom! I'm gonna shake you up, okay? That's what Thurman's gonna do. All I'm gonna do is a little zoom, 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 and a boom, boom! I'm gonna shake you up, all right? Tim Zoo's gonna get <laughs> All I'm gonna do is gonna zoom, 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 and a boom, boom! <laughs> oh man. I, <laughs> the name, I know the name of that song is called like Rub Shaker, but I'm trying to think of who. I think, wasn't it? Uh, I can't think of his name. Re, uh, what was his name? Re, Rex X and Effect or some shit like, something like that. Shout out to my hip hop heads that know. But, anyways, um. Bro, that that was funny, but um. Anyways, Keith Keith Thurman spoke on Errol Spence. Uh, they brought Errol Spence came up, and he basically was saying how you know um, a contract. You know, he signed his end of the contract to fight Errol Spence um, here recently, and and you know nothing ever came about. So he basically was saying how how did how do the fight fans feel like he ducked Errol Spence when it's, it was Errol Spence who didn't sign a contract when he fought him. And I think I'm starting to get where Keith Thurman is going. First of all, um. I do like Keith Thurman, bro. I like his energy. I like how honest he is, man. Even when at times like when we feel like, bro, come on, like Keith Thurman is an honest dude, bro. He'll tell you what's 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 real or whatnot. But um, I think I'm starting to get what 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 Keith Thurman is saying, and my his his meaning is like for saying that he hasn't dug Spence. When Spence was calling Keith Thurman, I I think Keith Thurman believed it. You know, at that at at at. Well, at the first point, at one point when Keith, when Spence was calling out Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman was more so like Spence had nothing to offer him, almost like uh, Jerron Boots in his with Terrence Crawford. Like, well, actually before because you know Jerron has a, a belt now, but um, Keith Thurman, it was nothing in a fight for Errol Spence with Keith Thurman, and I feel like Keith Thurman like thought like you know how like. For an example, like how Mayweather was, right? Keith Thurman thought he was more so of a Mayweather to Errol Spence. Meaning that, you remember how when Floyd was fighting, it would be like all all sorts of guys calling out Floyd Mayweather, bro. And like, for example, I remember, uh, uh what's his name, Luis Colazzo. Uh, called out Floyd Mayweather, and we and everybody in their mama knew that Luis Colazzo was not finna get a, Floyd, a fight with Floyd Mayweather. He done absolutely nothing to deserve a fight with Floyd Mayweather. But I remember Luis Colazzo called out Floyd Mayweather or whatnot, and you know, of course, Floyd doesn't respond to guy like a majority of the guys that call him out. And I think that that's how Keith Thurman felt he was against Errol Spence when Errol Spence first called him out. And to a degree, to a degree, at one point, he was correct. When Errol Spence first called out Keith Thurman, after like Keith Thurman, let me see, I, my first time hearing Errol Spence call Keith Thurman out was the year that, um, the year that Floyd fought Manny Pacquiao, so I think 2015, right? Um, Keith Thurman was in line for the WBA uh, title that Floyd Mayweather held, and Errol Spence was just up and coming. Um, as a I can't think, I, 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 and I just remember the video where, you know, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather was saying that, you know, Keith Thurman should fight Errol Spence, um, for, you know, for his belt on his undercard and all this type of stuff. And at that point, I didn't, I ain't gonna lie, at that point, I didn't think that Errol Spence, I didn't think that Keith Thurman was ducking Errol Spence because I completely understood, like, at, at that point, it was like, bro, you know, 
I'm in line to fight Floyd Mayweather. Like, you know, as far as the ranking goes. Now, as far as reality goes, I don't think that fight was gonna ever would, would have ever happened. Well, it didn't ever happen, but um, as far as the ranking system goes, Keith Thurman was in line to fight Floyd Mayweather. And so Keith Thurman was calling out Floyd Mayweather. He had already beat he had um already beaten the likes of like, well, at that time he only beaten what Robert Guerrero, uh shoot. Uh, what Luis Colazo? He hadn't really beaten too many guys because at that particular time, people were ducking Keith Thurman left and right. Nobody wanted to step in the ring with Keith Thurman at that particular time. So uh, he thought that he was in line for a Floyd Mayweather fight. So I understood, bro. And even when he got the belt and, and Errol Spence was calling him out, I still understood. Like Errol Spence still was up and coming. You know, he has he had you know nothing to offer while Keith Thurman was chasing the likes of Manny Pacquiao and uh, Sean Porter's and Tim Bradley's and um, Danny Garcia. He was chasing all these established guys who were more established than what Errol Spence was at the time. But where Keith Thurman is wrong at is in 2017 when Errol Spence got that belt. Um, by beating Kell Brook. Now at that particular time, not only did Errol Spence beat a big name, but he got a belt, a title, which was the IBF. That's when I felt like Keith Thurman was uh, was avoiding Errol Spence. And and that's why I feel like, I wonder where if Keith Thurman, like if somebody would like, I, I would really like to have a conversation with Keith Thurman in regards to this, because it's like, that's where I feel like, okay, Errol Spence had a title, at that particular time, because I want to say he fought Kell Brook May of 2017, um, Errol Spence was then pushing for a Keith Thurman fight even more so he more heavily. And Keith Thurman just he had just beaten Danny Garcia. So I wanna say he was unified. I I believe. I believe he was unified. Um and with I with I think Manny Pacquiao at that particular time. No, I think Manny Pacquiao just lost to Jeff Horn. So I think Jeff Horn had the WBO. But um, I think Keith Thurman had the WBA and the WBC, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Keith Thurman just kind of just went MIA at that point, bro. Like, he just was not fighting. He, you know, after, you know, and Al Spence was pre calling him out heavily, but Keith Thurman wasn't pursuing the fight. That's why I feel like Keith Thurman was avoiding Errol Spence at. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks because that actually, people don't realize this, but uh, when Keith when Keith Thurman had the belt and Errol Spence had the belt, that was the fight people were pushing for more than Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. It was Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence. That was like the fight that we wanted at that particular time. But Keith Thurman just was going through so much and so much inactivity and all this type of stuff. It just seemed like Keith Thurman had lost his hunger and he never responded to he didn't well he would he would talk over Errol Spence. He would, you know, he you know you know gave Errol his credit. And he always stated that that fight is here. It's it's gonna happen, but it never happened. So now um that you know Errol Spence ended up getting the belt that Keith Thurman relinquished, which was against Sean Porter. Um, cause I think Sean Porter and Danny Garcia fought for the vacant WBC. Uh, Errol Smith ended up beating Sean Porter again at WBC and um, and became a unified champion. He had the IBF and the WBC, I believe it was that. And um, at that point, at that point in time, uh, Keith Thurman still had the WBA. Uh, Errol Spence um, was, you know, again, you know, making noise. And then Keith Thurman loses his WBA title to Manny Pacquiao. Who then loses his title, WBA title, to um, to Ugas, who eventually loses his WBA title to Errol Spence Jr. And so now Errol Spence had three of the titles, and that's when Keith Thurman was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to fight you now. And Errol Spence was more so like, nah, bro, I've tried to, you know, make a fight with you plenty of times, and you overlooked me. You didn't give me no credit. And nah, bro. So I, I don't have no intentions on fighting you now. You're irrelevant. I got bigger fish to fry. I got um, Terrence, Terrence Crawford. I'm looking at. So you know, it um, it sucks that we never got that fight. Uh, I I would have at, at at first when Errol was calling out Keith Thurman, I would have picked Keith Thurman. But now um, I definitely would have picked uh, Errol Spence if they would have fought. But we don't know how, what condition Errol Spence is in now with all these surgeries and incidents that's happened to him it's no telling bro so 
Uh, maybe they can fight at 154, even though Errol Spence is on record saying that he has no intention on ever fighting Keith Thurman. Um, you know, just you never say never. You just never know, right? Um, after I just said never say never. But uh, hopefully that they, hopefully, man, I don't know. I would still like to see them fight. It wouldn't be as it would no be nowhere near as big as it once would have been. But I would like to see them, you know, fight or whatnot. But regardless, man, I'm looking forward to see Keith Thurman um, fight Tim Zhu. I think he's gonna lose by ninth round stoppage. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know?